Hi, this is Dave from geekanoids.co.uk. I've got something here for all you iPod and iPhone users. It's an iPhone compatible speaker system from Alltech Lansing. Check out the review of the T612 after the break. Audio in this review is captured using equipment from sennheiser.co.uk. This unit delivers 60 watts of RMS uh, power, it's absolutely fantastic, peaks at 120 watts. We've uh, got a very nice solid unit, it's very very weighty. We've got the dock down here for the iPod or iPhone, power on off switch, volume up and down, bass and treble enhancement around the back of the unit, just pop you around there. We've got uh, power input and also an auxiliary input for if you've got uh, another iPod uh, or uh, a different MP3 player that doesn't have a dock connector. We've also got some mount holes here, so I'm assuming that with the appropriate mounts you can actually uh, mount that on the wall. So let's uh, show you what else you get in the box. You also get uh, obviously power cable, which we're going to plug in in a minute. You get a three and a half mil mini jack cable. Just get that open so you see what that is. So you've got a three and a half mil jack, so you can use that with a different MP3 player. You also get power brick. It's quite big, but again, this is going to be used in the home. This end obviously plugs in on the back of the unit and you also get a little mini remote control just pop that out of the bag so you get a mini remote which has a power on off button volume button bass and treble play and pause and obviously skip functionality for skipping tracks very very uh, cheap uh, sort of plasticky remote and as with many of these remotes it uh, just does the job uh, it doesn't need to do anything more than just a uh, simple track and volume control so uh, that's the remote so I'm going to plug this uh, speaker unit in the T612 from Alltech Lansing okay so this is my iPhone I'm just going to dock that into the unit that fits nicely power button here some uh, LEDs that have appeared here and let's set uh, some music going now these lights as you can see are moving the volume up and down and as I turn it down the lights dim and then gradually more come on so it's fantastic bass is just a bass boost we've got no control on the unit itself as to how much bass is added uh, other than flicking between two different modes there and then treble again two different modes for treble just going to pop back to the beginning of that track and just let you hear how the unit sounds Okay, so that's the Alltech Lansing T612. The sound, in my opinion, is uh, quite rich and full bodied, but certainly when you add in that bass boost, it does sound a little bit muddy. That, that said, it's uh, a very rich sound, a uh, very full bodied sound, and I would say that for the £150 asking price, it is almost justified. I think if you can pick this up for around about the 130 mark, it's a winner. It's very solidly built. It's a very, very nice unit and uh, certainly delivers sound on par with some of the Bose systems that I've seen. Uh, very, very nice unit. This was my review of the Alltech Lansing T612. Works with the iPods and also with the iPhone. Thanks very much for listening. Come back soon and check out more reviews on geekanoids.co.uk I'd like to thank Real Mac Software for sponsoring this video review. They are creators of Rapid Weaver, the powerful website creation tool for the Mac.